why don't we blow the system up? I mean, obviously we can't just turn off the spigot on the system we have and then say, hey, everyone in the world should get this new vaccine we haven't given to anyone yet. But there must be some way that we grow vaccines mostly in eggs the way we did in 1947. In order to make the transition from getting out of the tried and true egg growing, which we know gives us results that can be you know, beneficial. I mean, we've done well with that, to something that has to be much better. Uh, you have to prove that this works, and then you've got to go through all of the clinical trials, phase ones, phase twos, phase three, and then show that this particular product is going to be good over a period of years. That alone, if it works perfectly, is going to take a decade. There might be a need or even an urgent call for uh, an entity right. of excitement out there that's completely disruptive, that's not beholden to bureaucratic strings and, and, and processes. So we really do have a problem of how the world perceives influenza, and it's going to be very difficult to change that unless you do it from within and say, I don't care what your perception is, we're going to address the problem in a disruptive way and in an iterative way, because you do need both. But it is not too crazy to think that an outbreak of an, a novel avian virus could occur in, in China somewhere. We could get the RNA sequence from that, beam it to a number of regional centers, if not local, if not even in your home at some point, and print those vaccines on a patch and self-administer.